So you want to animate textures in Blender. Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to animate textures um, because you can't do that. You can't, that's one thing you cannot animate in Blender. There's no animation features for textures or materials, um, which is kind of a bummer. So we actually have an ability to use this, uh, use this type of feature, which it's called Anim all and if we go to use if we go to user preferences we can add the add-on we can just go ahead and type in anim and anim all is right there go ahead and make sure that's checked on hit save user settings and we can close that now we have all that done i'm gonna go ahead and delete everything in my scene i'm sorry default cube by hitting b dragging a box of everything hitting delete goodbye default cube we'll use it we'll use you soon but uh we'll hit uh shift a and add in a plane and we will scale that up with the S key, maybe S 1.5, no, S 2. 2 on my numpad to scale it uh, by 2. And really quickly, we'll go ahead and change to Cycles Render. And we'll go ahead and make sure that is uh, is all done. So I'll go ahead and, and add in our new texture by hitting New. And we'll open up our image. All right, so I have a glowstone texture that I've created uh, a while ago. I'll go to Material Mode so we can see it. And we have to add in our material. We'll go ahead and go to the Material tab and select the default material. Hit Use Nodes and click this little box on the right-hand side and change this to Image Texture. Then select our glowstone. And now we have it right here. And you can see it's not the actual texture it's supposed to be. The reason is because we have to unwrap it. So hit Tab, hit U, and then we can just choose Unwrap. Now. We have that all good. If if you're using a pixel texture like I am, uh, you're going to have to go to user preferences and make sure in system, MIP maps is not checked. Because if it is, you can see the difference it makes. All right, so that looks good the way it is. We're going to go ahead and get into the animation features now. We can go ahead and split our window into two by dragging this little uh, this little triangle piece down at the bottom. And we'll change this to the UV image editor on the left-hand side there. Close that a little bit. Uh, so now, if you can see, we have our texture. If we tried to animate something, it just wouldn't work. There's not even a, an ability to do that. But now we have this animation tab right here because of the Anim All add-on. And this is great because if we were to go ahead and open up our glowstone texture on the left-hand side here, you can see if I hit Tab, we have this nice little box that we always have, right? And you can see our texture moves depending on where it is and it'll loop over and over again for miles and miles and miles. Um, but if we wanted to animate that, there there was no features for that until this anim add-on uh, was a thing. So, the great thing about this is that if we were to go ahead and go to the first frame, I'm going to go ahead and scroll and turn on magnet mode so it, it snaps to uh, pixels, so it's easier to do. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and do something like that. I will go to the first frame. I'll make the first frame zero because it's a pet peeve of mine. And then we'll make sure UVs is checked on this anim all tab here on the left-hand side. Um, let me drag that open a little bit. Uh, and now what we can do is uh, we can make sure that if we go ahead and hit G and move this uh, texture on the left-hand side over to the left. And then we can go ahead and hit Insert. And now you can see there's a yellow keyframe down there. Before, there was no ability to do that. That's really, really pretty cool. Now, I'm going to go to frame 20, and we're going to hit G, and then move this back over to where uh, it started. Then hit Insert. And you can see if I scrub through this, nothing's happening. The reason for this is because we're still in uh, edit mode. If we were to go ahead and go out of that, you can see if I play this, the texture moves, which is absolutely awesome. This has so many different uses. I just changed my in frame to uh, frame 20, so this loops forever now. You can see how awesome this really is. This has so many different uses. It's it's absolutely insane. And if I wanted to go ahead and make sure that this 100% looped forever, I can go to the graph editor, split my window, go to the graph editor, and find the uh, the uh, the plane. Uh, splines go over to the, the right hand side and hit that hit this box open with that little plus right there and grab each one of these uh, these each one of these lines down here in this plane uh, and then we can go ahead and, and make sure each one of these says linear instead of uh, instead of uh, uh, the this this curve that it's default set on so we can go ahead and make sure all of these say linear you can see we have a really cool effect now because this is we've only done half of them so it looks like it's wiggling which is so cool we can stop right now at doing half of them but i'll go ahead and do the rest of them so you can see that it loops uh infinitely without uh, having that little start and stop uh phase that it does and you can see how amazing that really is that really just is Kind of like a godsend because, like I said, you couldn't animate, you can't animate textures in Blender. So it's it's probably one of the coolest 
uh, one of the coolest add-ons that there is. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. We can we can slow this down or speed it up by going into the dope sheet. I'll change my in-frame to frame 50. We can grab all these frames by hitting B, dragging a box over it, and then just hitting G to move these to the 50th frame. And now you can see they're moving much slower. This is absolutely so cool. You can see all the different things we can do with this. We can even scale this up and it remains the same. We can rotate it. It will still animate. It is absolutely insane the level of things you can do with this. I think we may do some might do some things with this in the future. It is just probably like I said, it's the it's like the coolest. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was actually a request from someone. So I hope you're watching. I hope you enjoyed it. How to animate textures in Blender. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then. Bye bye.